I'm here today with Mark Palferman and we're talking after the third round County Cup defeat. Hi Mark, so what, what are your thoughts first and foremost regarding the game today? Disappointed mainly, obviously the County Cup was a competition that we, we'd have to do very well to go far in but I think today more, more so disappointed because of the first half performance and the fact that we, we genuinely looked like the better side for 45 minutes and to come away with such a, a high defeat, you know 6-1 does it flatters them, bearing in mind our first half performance, but at the same time it could have been more with, with how poor we were in the second half. Do you think the fact that we haven't had a competitive game for a few weeks had any bearing on it, or was it the same for both sides? Normally I'd say yes, but it's the same for both sides, as you mentioned, and more importantly, we came out so well in the first half that it, it can't have been lack of football that would cause the problem. You'd expect that to happen in the first half and gradually get into the game, and for some reason we seem to do it backwards. We Obviously, there must have been. You had to reshuffle the team today. There was sort of two of the sort of most consistent players missing out of your back four, and you take those two out, and obviously it has a big bearing on the side. Yeah, I mean, obviously, Carl's had a very, very, very good New Year's Eve um, to the point where I don't think I've seen him since. And unfortunately, Paul dropped out just before the game, so we did have to rework things with the personnel that we had here. And, and I think in the first half, Cameron was exceptional at centre back. Him and Jaden looked untroubled, and I think that really set the bedrock for the team performance in the first half. And I mean, credit to Aaron Metcalf who did a shift for us in the second half at centre back. Uh, but I, I think when you mix up your back four, then you, you're always going to have problems defensively because you need that consistency. Sometimes they do say that you learn more in a heavy defeat than a good victory. Do you think there's a few learning curves and you've learnt one or two things today? Well, that's what I said to the lads, that we've just got to put it behind us and take the lessons that we've learnt. I think in bad defeats, then if you learn nothing from them, it's a waste of a defeat. So I think we've got to learn from today's defeat and then take that into the league and hopefully it can progress us in the league. And, and really, if there was a game where we were going to have to learn that lesson and maybe get a bit of a kick, the county cup probably the best one we could have had it in. And there is a big semi-final coming up fairly soon. It is. Remind me who that's against. Um, it's against the Cambium first team, although some people are asking which is which these days. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Good luck next week. Thank you.